Hi, my name is Michael Anderson. Welcome back to Blue Pit Customs Street Kills Video Chronicles. How to identify LS heads. The reason we're doing this video, guys, is I, I've been browsing YouTube, checking out some stuff, and on YouTube, people, dude, for lack of a better word, people are idiots. I mean, I've seen some stuff on YouTube, dude, that kind of blows me away. Just people talking about swirl ramps, what you need to do, you know, but in the beginning of their video, it's like my first set. You might not want to listen or copy somebody's first port because there's a lot of things they do wrong. I'm not bashing anybody, I'm just saying, okay? Be real careful who you listen to regarding these cylinder heads because there's about 10 different varieties. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the different varieties of cylinder heads, what makes them different, what makes them special. We're going to try to keep this 8 to 10 minutes, and if we run off, we'll do another video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we'll go over the board here. What we have is we have your, your base LS1 heads. LS1. Okay? LS1 castings are 862, I believe. Let me double check that. See? They're so confusing, and I do this for a living. LS1 853. I was wrong. You see, I think 862 is 53 head. But anyways, 853, okay? That's the early cast LS head. That's the first, uh, well, that's, that's pre-perimeter bolt coil packs, that's center bolt coil packs, but it's the first design of the head. We'll go over that. Now, there's a little special thing about that, too. Then you have the 241. That is LS1 heads, okay? No 243 went on an LS1, period. End of story, end of discussion, okay? Then you have LS6, LS2, okay? And we'll do a little LS2V, that would be Corvette, and G, that would be GTL, okay? For the, for the most part. L, wait, and LQ9, okay? LS6, is a 243 cast cylinder head, the one everybody wants, okay? These intake runners are 200 cc, okay? These intake runners are all 210 cc, okay? That's what makes them more desirable, they're larger. The valves are the same size, okay? That also breaks into my last video about cylinder valves and uh, Cylinder head valves and you know the two inch versus the smaller one versus I mean we have 10 cc more chamber they flow better valves all being the same. Okay, these are 243 for the LS6. The LS2 GTOs are as well 243s. The LS2 Corvette are 799s. These are the same head, same ports, same everything. Okay, guys, understand the difference between these two ports and this port. This is sand cast. This is SPM cast. These ports will be smoother. These ports will be rougher. These ports are, are made out of a sand mold. These ports are made out of SPM. SPM ports typically are better. They're better. They don't have a lot of imperfections in them. If they do, they're indent imperfections and not clumps of metal. Sand cast heads get clumps of metal. Okay? Alex. Let me know when we're at 10 minutes. I want to keep these about 10. Cool? Thank you. LS1 853s is a sand cast head. The 241 is SPM. Okay? We're, the truck heads, they have a 7 series, which is uh, 799. They have a 7 series in truck heads. Okay? And then an 8 series as well. 8 series is sand cast, 7 series is SPM. The only difference between the LS1, like 853, 241, okay? That would be SPM on the truck heads. This would be sand, or my bad. This would be sand cast. This would be SPM. Okay. Then the valves are one nine seven instead of two inch. That's the only difference between these heads and these heads. Okay. These are five three four eight liter heads. Back to these. The LQ nine head is a three one seven. That is also LQ four. I'm sorry. Q four. LQ four. LQ nine is a three seventeen cast head. Every single one of them is sand cast, okay? 
that is your, your 6.0 liter heads. We're only talking the LQ9 and LQ4. We're not getting the LM7 and the newer ones, the five, the newer 5.3 aluminum HOs get 243s and the 48s. They're bad. They're, they get better heads. But we're not going up to past 2006. Okay. So what you have here, you have your 243s, 243, 799. Same cylinder heads. Some of the, the 243 GTO does not come with hollow stem valves. Only the LS6 243 heads come with hollow stem valves. Okay. Then there's certain Corvette heads that are 243 that come with hollow stem valves. Okay. That's that's your difference between the 317 cylinder head. That's your difference between these guys. The 317 cylinder head is as well 210 cc. These combustion chambers are 63 or 65 cc if I remember correctly. Because on the 6.0 liter LS2, it gives you 10, 9 to 1 compression, almost 11 to 1 compression, okay? The only difference between the LQ9 and LQ4 on these cylinder heads, the D port exhaust, everything's the same, the 210 cc, is the truck heads have a 70 cc combustion chamber. Okay, it drops compression. 10 thousandths, 12 thousandths on the mill takes care of that. So everybody's freaking out over 243 heads. Oh, I'm gonna get 243, gotta do something on the Get some 317s and mill them down. If, you, if you're running a huge cam, then obviously you're gonna wanna fly cut your pistons anyways. But uh, typically the cam, it's not gonna matter. It, you're, you'll have plenty of clearance. Okay, now that's the LS1 variety. Okay, now let's go to LS3. L92. Totally different animal here, guys. Everybody's going to sell you those L92 heads and say they're LS3, but they're not even close. LS3s are SPM cast. Let's go LS3, L92. The difference between the two. SPM, sand. Okay? From the get, they're better. About, about two or three horsepower. Okay? After porting, all is equal. Okay, you're talking uh, the, C, the, the intake runners are the same as far as your CCs, but here's where they differ. The L92 has standard valves. They're 2.16 valves, okay? <laughs> a 2.16 valve and a standard valve is a super heavy valve. It was built for a truck. Trucks don't go over 5,000 RPM, okay? So everybody out there wanting to, you know, you're getting lucky right now, and you've gotten lucky for a while if you're running a huge cam and high RPMs with an L92 cylinder head. I'll bet you changed your valves to either Manly or something else. Those valves are really heavy. They're not made to go over 5, 50, 200 RPM, okay? Whereas the LS3 valve is a hollow stem, titanium. Oh, I bet you guys didn't know that. Okay? And it weighs less than the 243 hollow stem valve. 2165, way bigger valve, weighs less. That valve is built for hauling ass, guys. LS3, it's a pretty bad, it's a pretty bad motor. That's the valve you want. The truck valve, that's that's what you get. The hollow stem intake comes with a three-angle back cut. Okay, these seats are two-angle. See, it's a truck head. These seats are a three angle race cut and they're also titanium seats, okay? Everybody, all these mechanics are out there going, how come I didn't know they're titanium seats? They don't list that. They don't list that, okay? I've had extensive work with GM Performance. If you guys would like, I can cut in a picture of pallets and pallets of LS3 cylinder heads that I've worked on and ported, okay? The LS3 cylinder head is no joke. I like it better than the LS7 once ported. Okay, you keep your you keep the head doesn't stall as bad as LS7. It will work good on a 6.0 liter if you mill it down and you fly cut your pistons. Okay, now let's jump uh, let's jump back into let's jump back into the LS1 241s and all that stuff. Okay, let's do a little bit of actual cylinder head stuff. We're gonna take a break right now. Alex is going behind the camera telling me that it's time. So we're going to take a break right now and we'll jump right into that, guys. Thank you.